OSHA violation right there. So today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox this Makita brushless hammer drill kit. Now this kit costs $246, it comes with a high end hammer drill, a uh, 4 amp hour battery, charger, handle and a hard case. Now this Makita handle is their beefy one, it's the one that's made out of metal and we're going to unbox this and see what comes inside and test this tool out and see what it can do. Now when it comes to... Now when it comes to hard cases, I am not a fan of hard cases. I like the soft cases because you could fit other stuff in there and hard cases usually have a mold for the actual uh, tools inside. So I, I'm not a fan of that. I don't like the mold inside for this big bulky item for one tool. I'm just not a fan of that. Now if they made a hard case that is capable of fitting a lot of stuff in there then I uh, then I like it but I have a feeling this is molded specifically for this tool specifically for this kit the case is good quality though it is a good quality hard case so let's uh take a look yeah like I said uh you could it looks like you have enough space in here for another uh for an impact driver of course it comes with instructions and warranty. Ooh, it comes with two 4 amp hour batteries. I did not know that. I thought it came with one. That's a very good. I thought it, it I thought it came with uh, one 4 amp hour battery, but it comes with two. Alright, so you do have uh, a holder for your batteries. And that looks that looks different than the other one. This is I think this one's a fast charger. So good. I, I'm glad I got a fast charger now. All right, let's start off with the charger. I have a charger right here. Yeah, excellent. I got a fast charger now. So the charger that this kit comes with is a DC one uh, eight RC, and the standard kit is dc 18 SD. So I have a fast charger now. So this one is going in my uh, in my battery bag from Makita. Fantastic. Are there mounting points on it? No, there is not. I wish you could mount these to the wall, but it's okay though. Awesome. This kit actually comes with uh, a stopping rod for the handle. Now this handle is beefy now. Uh, that feels like it's aluminum with a nice metal uh, clamp that goes onto the actual drill and it ha it does have a nice hand uh, nice actual handle for you to grab. Okay, that's awesome. And of course the the rod goes inside. And what the rod is for, just in case if you don't know, if you only want to go to a certain depth of your uh, drilling into the concrete, uh, this will stop you. And you, so pretty much this will stop at the length of the screw that you wish to drive in. So that, that's a, it's a good that it, uh, this comes with that kit. And then we get the hammer drill. This thing is, now this is their beefy version. Now I do have... They're mid-range uh, hammer drill, which as you can see, there is there is a size a major size difference. So this is the this is their beefy one. Uh, this is model number XPH01. Uh, sorry, XPH07. Uh, it is a 21 point clutch, uh, and then three speed settings on the uh, then three settings on the top: hammer, drill, and screw. Uh, two speed settings. It is a nice metal truck. This thing's awesome. This thing's awesome. Uh, so this is a since two speed settings. The first speed is zero to uh, 550 RPMs, 
and on speed two, zero to uh, 2100 RPMs. All right, so this, just like the DeWalt, this has a unique feature. On speed one, uh, this has uh, zero to 8,250 8, beats per minute. And on speed two, zero to 31,500 beats per minute. So just like the DeWalt, this has a special speed setting for the hammer feature, which is a nice feature to have. Uh, I do not know what the torque is. I'll put the torque in right now. Half inch truck. That truck is uh, that truck is awesome. It does have two LEDs. Was this completely dead? Yeah, that's completely dead. Got to put those on charge. I feel like it comes with a uh, with a protector. This have somewhat of a charge. This is probably dead too. Yeah, that's completely dead. All right, we're gonna have to charge those up. Uh, so this has two LEDs underneath the clutch. And when it comes to Makita, they actually have a couple of, uh, I, I, I wanna call these rams. It's just, uh, these are like a rubber material. It just secures the, the battery in a little bit more firmly so you don't get any loose play in there. Does that have it on this feature, on this hammer drill as well? Yes, it does. I like that they put that, it's like a like a rubber stopper. So, we are gonna let these batteries charge up and we are gonna see what these batteries can do with this hammer drill. I'm glad I got the four amp hours now. I'm glad I got four amp hour. And we are just gonna do a couple of quick tests just to see what this can do. All right, we are gonna do, uh, on the four by four pressure treated wood, we are gonna do a three quarter inch drill bit. Love that ratchet, in this case on drill. Speed two, battery is full. Now I'm hoping that this could go through all the way. I'm hoping it has the power to. All right, so we're gonna do one hole, then we're gonna do two holes uh, in a row. All right, so ready, go. Time. Yeah, the flute is getting cogged up. So we're gonna do two holes in a row, see how it does. Ready, go. See this wood is breaking underneath. That's what that's what the issue is. All right, let's go to the older. Let's go to the older one. Let's see how well this does with this. Let's try the older one. All right, so ready, go. Yeah, see this one's cut. This one is actually cutting better. All right, so ready. Go. Time. Yeah, this one's actually cutting better than this one is. Wonder if this one's a defect. This one's brand. This one's brand new. Big ticket items. We're gonna do the one and a half inch uh, self-driving spade bit. Made by Bosch. I think these are called Daredevils. We're gonna do it on speed one, see what it can do. Remember, uh, safety glasses on. All right, so, we're gonna do it right here. It clears everything, yes it does. All right, so ready, go. Time, time, time. So now we're gonna go over sp to speed two. Let's see what this is. I'm hoping this can do this on speed two because if this is capable of doing it, I will I will be extremely happy. All right, so ready, go. Oh yeah. Time. It is capable of doing that. All right, so we are gonna go to speed two. Let's see if this is capable of doing it at speed two. All right, so ready, go. Oh yeah, you can do it. Oh, that is big. That is big. 
Alrighty, so I am extremely glad that the Makita was able to do the one and a half inch spade bit on speed two. That is huge. I want to do a versus video between these two hammer drills, and we are going to see if uh, the XPH12 can do it. Now, I just got this in the mail. I did not uh, upload the video yet, uh, but I cannot wait to do a versus video between these and across the other brands. So, this thing is uh, this thing's a, seriously is a beast. Now, I did upload this once in a previous video, uh, like about five months ago. I was not comfortable with pushing it to the extreme because it was not my tool. But now I got one for myself, and we will be testing the limits out on what this is capable of doing against itself and the other brand. Now, temperature-wise, the highest point on this, 75 degrees. Not sure if you can see it, but uh, it, it did not get uh, hot. It, it, it's a, a tad bit warm, but it's it's really doing okay now. This thing is awesome and it's a beast. The model number for this is XPH07. I was very surprised that it got two four amp hour batteries with it and a fast charger, which is awesome with a cooling, uh, it's a cooling charger as well. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to box this and give you a demonstration of this. Hey, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be, to be notified of future videos. If this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.